Hello, this is kind of a random, out of the blue, spontaneous video about some stuff. Yay! Um, I found myself looking on eBay a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, can't remember. Um, uh, just looking for random retro related stuff that I might find useful. And I happened to buy a power supply for my Spectrum 48K because a modern one is theoretically more reliable because the old ones are a bit, well, old. Um, so I bought this power supply and while I was on this particular shop happened to notice that they were also selling these, which is like a fast loader cartridge for um, if you're using an SD to IEC kind of fl flash storage thing. It also works with the Commodore 64 floppy drive because I've got a Commodore 64 and I've got an SD to IEC and I don't really use it a lot because unlike some SD and flash storage solutions it runs at the same speed as the original floppy drive which is really bloody slow almost as slow as a cassette drive to my mind anyway so I had never use it because I'm just too impatient so I ordered one of these and when I'd done that I realized hold on a minute I know the person whose um, who, who store shop eBay thing this is it's uh, Rod Hull I know him as Rod Hull on Twitter, if that's his real name, I don't know. But anyway, uh, he runs the website uh, The Future Was 8-Bit, which is really cool, and sells stuff like this, and, and the power supply, and many other things. Anyway, it occurred to me, I follow him, he follows me on Twitter, and my eBay username is kind of not totally unrelated to my usual online name. So I thought I'll, I'll pop him a message on Twitter to say, hey, if you see a name that looks familiar amongst your orders today, yeah, that is me. Or words to that effect. And he was like, so there is. Cool, it'll be with you on whatever day. And uh, that was that. So I thought. And then uh, parcel arrived and things were in it, all cool and hunky-dory and I was pleased. And something else. Actually, two other things. <laughs> The, uh, I believe he puts these in uh, all of his orders. The, 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 is it Bic? I don't know, whoever it is. It's the, the future was 8-bit. And uh, what's, what's that saying in red? Div MMC future, it says. And uh, does he put them with all of his orders or the ones with Div MMC futures? Well, here's the thing. And this is... Oh, Spectrum, Spectrum games, Spectrum videos. I don't put up a lot of Spectrum videos, though more recently, since well, about a year ago, I bought a reconditioned Spectrum 48K because the, I've got four Spectrums and uh, every time I tried to do a Spectrum video, the video output was poor. I, it would either drift off of, the signal would drift off and I'd lose the image, or it was speckly, or one of them, the keyboard's not really working right. But uh, I, I got this reconditioned one with new caps and everything, and uh, composite output thingamajig, it didn't use the RF out, yeah, it got a composite mod on it. Anyway, and to go with that, a while ago, I bought this, which is a div MMC, it's a flash flash yeah, SD card solution shall we say you just put loads of ROMs on there and it also acts as a Kempston joystick adapter and you plug that in the back and it's big and it's not pretty and it will collect dust if you're not careful what you do with it um, but it worked and I, I used that for about a year so any Spectrum videos you've seen in the past year except the last one which is uh, Ant Attack were done with this and that was all funky and cool However, getting to the point of this video, in the parcel, with, with this and the, um, the power supply, Rod had uh, included this, <laughs> which is the Div MMC Future, which he just happens to make. Um, this is like, like a, a pre-production model. Uh, full production ones are, are um, better quality casing I believe. I personally I've got absolutely no complaint whatsoever since he gave me this. Um, but you know, it, it seems perfectly good quality to me regardless of being pre-production. 
it, it the, the div MMC future it you plug it into the back into the expansion port on your spectrum you plug an SD card in there and an SD card came with this um, preloaded with stuff some of, some of it is for this some of it is for the um, the fast load cartridge thingamajig or rather the SD to IEC um, you plug your joystick in there and you've got two buttons here one of them one of them lights up as well which is cool um, one of them will boot you into standard spectrum basic and one of them will boot you into a menu and that menu you can using the cursor keys on the spectrum you navigate around to um, all the files you might have stored on here and then you can select one using do you use your joystick? can't remember um, and load games and it's just epic. I mean, it, it does the same as that thing. It does the same as this. But look, I mean, <laughs> no contest. That cool. So uh, any any videos you see of Spectrum games in the future, and there will be some, probably quite a few. Uh, I'll, I'll be using this, and I just want to say a great big thank you to Rod. For, for giving me this, and um, I'm gonna link to uh, I'll link to his the future was 8-bit website down there because I do if you're into spectrum gaming and you like a spectrum this will run on any spectrum as far as I know it certainly runs on the 48k I, I believe it runs on all of them um, and without the need for jumpers this thing would run on all of them but you got to set some jumpers on it to have it run on your particular model of spectrum and though that's not a difficult thing to do it's kind of if you want to pull it out out of your current machine and put it in another one it's just that little bit of extra fiddling about here this just you know whatever you plug it into spectrum wise it's going to work um, and that's just great as far as I'm concerned, uh, tapes out the window now. This, <laughs> this is this is where it's at. Okay, uh, I think I will shut up now. I've got some more videos. I'm go I will do a video of this when I've uh, when I get the time and show how it. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> so <laughs> it's been a long time since I used an SD2 IEC, and I can't remember the commands. But I think they're on some of the paperwork the rod included with this and that. So. Uh, yeah, that will be coming up in the future. I've got some other stuff to show you in the future. Where is it? Where have I put it? I think I took it in the other room. I've got an, a Harmony Atari cartridge and also a 500 in one NES cartridge. So uh, those are going to be coming up in the near future as well. Mm, okay, that'll do I think. Actually, I'm going to take this in the other room and plug it in and show you just, well, why not? Okay, here we go. Oh, this is tricky. It's This is a small room and I'm cramped and can't move <laughs> without tripping on stuff. But uh, let me show you. This is currently not plugged in. There's your, uh, your expansion port there. I hope you can see there's not a lot of light in here. You get your uh, Div MMC Future. And you plug it in. You do make sure it's not. I'll just just so there's no doubt, no power. You plug that in there, and that is all there is to it, really. You have your SD card in there. It does. It is the the push in push out type. Plug your joystick in there. Power in there. power supply. Oh. That is the power supply that I ordered. Um, it's 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 an interesting thing because you can uh, have different types of. Uh, there are several different uh, plug types, so it'll work in different countries, which is cool. And apparently, this puts out. It can accommodate higher power requirements than a standard spectrum power supply, which is useful because. Things like that, 
will draw a bit more power than um, just a standard spectrum on its own. So we plug in and as you see the light turns on there and uh, then goes red which I haven't actually got the TV I haven't even got the um, thing plugged in so uh, no signal coming out of there at the moment where's my wires so having plugged all of that in we have a spectrum tuned in and uh, let me just set this up edit somewhat right so uh, here we are it is currently exactly as I showed you I haven't pushed any buttons or anything I've just pointed the camera at the screen you push the button push the top button and you get that you push the bottom button and it reboots straight back to um, Sinclair Basic so that is really cool top button there's your menu it's got various different folders and stuff in it um, yeah cursor keys to navigate through that I don't know what these are so I don't do anything with them but we go to the uh, ZX bit because we've got games and stuff in there what do we look at D why not and uh, it's full of stuff can you go left and right yes you can navigate up and down left and right and going right will uh, take you further through the um, I'm looking to see if there's anything I recognize that I can just play off the bat without having to practice <laughs> Probably not. I uh, will just pick one, Steve. Dizzy, because I am not a fan of Dizzy, but what the heck? And, uh, yay! And there's Dizzy. How do we control him? I have no idea. Uh-huh. Well, I, I no idea. I'm just pushing the enter button and I don't know what any of the... Hello. What the hell? Okay, that's strange. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Alright, anyway, that doesn't matter. We're not here to do a, a, a gameplay. It's just to show you that this thing works. And then you press... You press, but you, you press the keys to uh, navigate your way through and you pick one and you play it. And it loads so much quicker than loading from tape or micro drive or whatever else you might have. It's great, I like it a lot. Uh, I am very, very grateful to Rod from The Future Was 8-Bit for sending me this. Um, yeah, highly recommended. If you're a Spectrum playing retro gamer, highly recommended. Okay, thank you to Rod and thank you for watching. Hello. That Benway chap's got to left me to do his outro for him. Lazy sod. Anyway, he puts out videos of, like, gameplay nonsense and stuff on a fairly regular basis. So if you don't want to miss any, hit the subscribe button. And if you've already done that, well, thank you. Oh, yes. Um, while I think of it... If you're waiting for a new video from him, why not check out his playlist? He's got around 1,500 videos already recorded and separated into categories according to system. Whatever that means. Um, yes. Are we done yet? Jolly good. Man's a blithering idiot if you ask me, but there you go. Right, where's the whiskey?